So there are a number of key issues that need to be addressed again this year that were relevant in 2017. Those issues include a new uh, share scheme incentive for small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, the, the moves and, and measures that government will look at in terms of attracting investment in the context of Brexit, and then the area of employment taxes and particularly payroll revenue audits. So in the area of, of share-based remuneration, the Minister noted last year that there would be a new incentive scheme focused on small and medium-sized enterprises. We expect that this scheme will be in line with the Enterprise Management Incentive Scheme that's in place in the UK. The effect of this will be to defer the point of taxation for individuals from the, the receipt of the shares to the point of disposal, um, and that provides a, a key advantage for employees of that company. And in addition, we expect that potentially there'll be a favourable capital gains tax regime that will apply to those shares whenever they are disposed. This will have a transformative effect on share-based remuneration and share ownership within small and medium-sized enterprises, will provide a competitive advantage um, in looking to attract and retain and motivate talent. Um, we don't expect any further changes in this area and I think that might be a little bit of a disappointment to multinational companies and those that don't meet the SME criteria. However, it is a very positive measure um, that we would see being introduced. So a year on from the Brexit vote, it's becoming clear as to how Ireland will benefit from uh, the vote in the UK and, and in terms of attracting mobile employees and companies to Ireland. Um, companies have done a lot of the heavy planning and now are looking at the detail around how they move those employees, how they set up operations in Ireland. The key issue we're encountering when we discuss with clients is our high marginal rate of taxation. At 52%, we've one of the highest marginal rates of tax in the OECD and also one of the lowest entry points into that point of taxation. It is positive to hear uh, Antishak uh, Leo Varadkar uh, mention that that is a key issue for the government and that 52% is, is too high a rate and, and hopefully something will be done, if not this year, but at least a timeline put in place to help reduce that. The other issue we're seeing is in terms of, of some of the, the bureaucracy that companies have to deal with whenever they're transitioning employees or having short-term business travellers. So for example, there's recent revenue guidance around uh, you know, employees who, who travel to Ireland for greater than 30 days that there's a potential payroll obligation on that Irish entity. This is quite onerous on the companies while not bringing in a significant amount of, of, of revenue into the, to the exchequer. So we would hope that something can be done to provide clarity around that, to make sure that we're protecting both the exchequer, but at the same time not creating an, over, an overly administrative burden for those companies. So another key area will be that in the area of employment taxes and revenue audits. So at a time where their fiscal space is quite constrained, the past number of years, extra resources have been given to the revenue to increase the take from revenue audits. While that can be positive in a sense of ensuring that companies pay the correct amount of tax, there does need to be a balance put in place to ensure that there isn't an excessive amount of, of work or effort that needs to be done by those companies in order to, to adhere to the various rules. Um, we would expect that this is going to happen in Budget 18, that extra resources are going to be given to revenue um, and therefore companies should be looking pre-year-end to do a health check and review their payroll taxes to ensure that everything is in order.